morning. Welcome to God Focus this morning. Today's episode is titled Double Minded People. James 1 6 through 8 says, But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like the wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double minded man is unstable in all of his ways. We as Christians are to walk in pure faith. If we allow our faith to waver, it, we can become double-minded. Have you ever been at a crossroads in life not knowing which way to go? It helps sometimes to seek direction of someone who is wiser. That's when we go to prayer and ask God for his direction. When I'm trying to decide which way to go, I can normally see both sides of a situation, so it's easy to get confused. But I have to take a step back and get past the sympathy, the empathy, and the emotions of the situation before I can logically make a decision. When we ask God to do something, we believe that he will, until circumstances start looking the opposite way. Then, if we're not careful, doubt will creep in and cause us to waver in our faith, causing us to be double-minded. God moves for those who believe, but when we doubt, he will not move for us. We need pure faith, not mixed with anything else. Take the mustard seed, for example. Many say that if we have a little bit of faith, that is all we need, just a little size of that mustard seed. But it is not about the size as much as the mustard seed is a pure seed. It grows when planted but will not mix with any other herb. Therefore, mustard is pure. The 17th chapter of Matthew has a story of a disciples that tried to cast out a devil but could not. And after the man brought his son to Jesus, he cast out the demon and the boy was cured. Matthew seventeen nineteen through 21 says, Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could we not cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief. In other words, they was double-minded. For verily I say unto you that if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall be removed, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. A mustard seed grows quickly, it produces fruit quickly. It also uh, makes a bush or a tree large enough for birds to nest in and hide from predators. Our pure faith can grow a tree for people to take shelter in when they need God. We can have faith for others when they cannot have faith for themselves. Like the people who peeled back the roof and lowered their sick friend to Jesus. The man was too sick to have much faith of his own. But they had faith that Jesus was going to heal him. And Jesus did. This is why we ask others to pray for our situations. Sometimes we lack faith because we're too close to the situation. And it's easier to have faith for others than for ourselves. The 21st verse says, This kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. In other words, we need to have a close relationship with the Father. We need to have our God focus. Fasting is not about doing without food. It is about having power over the flesh. When we deny our flesh, we gain control over our impulses. It's about strengthening our spiritual man. The closer we walk to God, the less control our flesh has over us. We are in a constant battle, flesh versus spirit. If we are strong in faith, with pure faith, we too will have power to cast out devils. If we were weak in faith and it is not pure faith, then our fleshly ego may get in the way. If we walk in pure faith, we understand that the things God does through us has very little to do with us. Let me say that again. If we walk in pure faith, We understand that the things God does through us has very little to do with us. It is all about Jesus. It is up to us to learn how to have pure faith and not be double-minded. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be bold, be brave, and keep your God focus. Like, share, and subscribe for more encouragement. Have a good day.